I think of my dream as drawing circles. I've moved over 25 times by now and I don't really remember all the childhood homes that I've had. Some of them I completely forgot. And forgetting where I used to live scares me because I think it's destabilizing. Now I go back to where my family lives maybe once or twice a year for a few weeks and it's kind of funny how when I travel sometimes I stay at a place for a few weeks and I call those places home as well. What? I don't know. It's a video. Like a circle, my dream connects dots line, some spotty memory of my homes and my experiences and kind of creates a full thing that seems more complete in the dream form than in individual fragmented memories. And repeatedly, I walk down the roads I used to walk down in Waterloo and Taejeon and Seoul and Paris in my dreams. And these dreams occur at least once a year and I've been dreaming them as far as I can remember. And like a pen, I wish I could have something more permanent, something that leaves a visible trace because I can't pick up on the last dream and make sure it's the right one. But every time, because I remember less and less, I distort my dreams. I'm sure of it. And actually, my mom told me to visit the... Uh, the... If dreams could be on paper, kind of like Harry Potter-esque, moving action on paper. I could show it to other people and all, but I can't do anything else but to just draw circles on paper. It probably is like some type of like gel where it fills in the cracks and then you put makeup over it. Seeing my old friends and the ways I remember them is kind of weird because all these kids, ranging from really little kids to teenagers and so on, all coexist and even as I dream, I'm kind of put off by the things I see. <laughs> 